From Tush Poet to Whiskey. Like waves on the bay of whiskey. I began to tumble and roar. My face is red like a lobster. I fell and broke my poor knobster. My watch from my spot was Pixar. I never get drunk anymore. Yeah. Wait, there's more. Uh, I resolved to try it. I live on a moderate diet. I'll not drink, but I'll deny it. And I'll shut the alehouse door. For that is where they tell us. He meet all the jolly good fellas. And I by the poker and bellas. I'll never get drunk anymore. Girl? Oh, my head pounding. Morning, Arthur. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border? Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train? Pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Good morning, Arthur. Come on, the girl.
I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. So how'd you end up like this? Just shoot the damn chains already, come on! Just shoot the chains off, please. I'm done for otherwise. Easy enough. Oh, 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 yes. Yes. Perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm-hmm. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. Some of those fellows talked about this old crone up north of Strawberry. Got herself a tidy sum locked away. Maybe just stories, but... They were sure excited. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't just a hunt. It's up to you, friend. Out of my way. You know, a man as stupid as you is mighty hard to read.
Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> There's a spot up this way with a good view of the trail. Yep. <clears throat> what are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Driscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is. A few loose ends. Drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. up on this ridge. Whoa! They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here. Any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah.
Let's get this out of here. No need to keep your face covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. How long does it take? Next time, I'll leave you in the dust. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean... Yeah! Baylock! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. Find new rifle, too. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you, that's more your style than mine. Licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here, be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take and a new wagon to boot. Judge can't say we ain't pulling our weight no more, can he? I ain't sure I trust this new act of yours one bit. Listen, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but I got no beef with you. I reckon we're a lot alike, you and me. Now, hold up there. Dutch knows I'm a feller that gets things done, same as you. Gets things done? Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! <laughs> What the hell? Come on, Arthur, get out of there! You dumb bastards! Damn, you okay? I think so, just take it. Let's finish. Is it every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies? Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscolls? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. You know, we should really pick up a lock breaker one of these days. Save ourselves some bullets. Yeah, because saving bullets is such a concern of yours. Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of, well, this little mess. Come on, I'm happy to do it myself. Go on, then. Do it. 
Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, <laughs> that still don't mean nothing. Now, get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun! Looking for gold, Parker. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> hey, give me some goddamn space here, will you? Ah, Mr. Morgan. You seem chipper. Well, where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? 
Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, Arthur. Exactly an enchanted forest. This place is it. No. I wonder why they called it Valentine. I'm a convert. Seems polar opposite or man. Well, I don't know. Some lady I'm speaking to in town told me about a curse. A curse? Well, nothing's more romantic than a curse. Exactly. A prince turned into a toad. Lovers into stone. Entire country turned into morons. Curses everywhere. It's Valentine's curse. Well, I didn't quite understand what the woman was saying, kind of her being a bit of an idiot. Some about a massacre and a last arriving in cursing the county. Well, if they massacred people, then they deserve to be cursed. I hear you saved Mr. Bell from a hanging. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I suppose he'd do the same for you. Exactly. We're all in this together, Mr. Morgan. I know you know that. Of course, Miss Grimshaw. I think it sounds very interesting. Hey, Javier. I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. 
stairs could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow, and... I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees? I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey! Keep it down. I hear voices. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Maybe you just want to pick this time with Mal. Creepers, man. Don't score no shoes in the dip. Just stay quiet. Where you been now, noob? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I was gone but ten minutes I was. Canali gag on an all day long. Cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gumper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay, you take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Be quiet!
any more of them. All right, quick. Let's look for the stash. They weren't shy about defending that barn. Let's check in there first. Under here. There's no place else I could store it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. Just my luck.
Bit more, girl. Come on. Look at what we snagged. Dutchie's dogs, buddy. I told you he'd show. All right, boys. Let's introduce ourselves.